For nearly half a century, Voyager 2 has been drifting farther and farther away from Earth, beyond the influence of our sun, beyond the comfort of known science. It was never meant to last this long, and yet it still speaks, quietly, from the void. But this time, the message was different. What NASA decoded from the latest transmission didn't just surprise them. It shook the entire scientific community, a finding that was supposed to be impossible, a signature no one expected, and a reality we may not be ready to face. What did Voyager 2 really find? How does it defy everything we thought we knew about the edge of the solar system? And why are scientists calling it the most haunting discovery ever made in space? Let's begin. Voyager 2 shouldn't exist. Its journey only became possible thanks to a once in 176 year planetary alignment. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune strung together like pearls on an invisible arc. In the 1960s, a part-time NASA employee plotted those orbits by hand with nothing but a pencil. His discovery allowed engineers to use the gravity of each planet to slingshot the spacecraft toward the edge of the solar system, accelerating it farther than anything humanity had ever launched. Built with 69 kilobytes of memory, less than the key fob that opens your car, and transmitting with the power of a refrigerator light bulb, Voyager 2 was never designed to enter interstellar space. Yet 46 years later, it's still out there, billions of miles away, whispering through the void. And now, it has whispered something. Strange. In 2018, Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's solar wind yields to the pressures of interstellar space. It followed its twin, Voyager 1, which crossed in 2012. But what Voyager 2 discovered at the threshold didn't match predictions. It didn't match anything. Scientists expected sharp changes in radiation, in magnetic fields, in plasma flow. But while the spacecraft did record a massive spike in plasma density, proof it had reached interstellar space, the expected shift in magnetic orientation never happened. The field remained stubbornly unchanged, just as it had with Voyager 1. It was like stepping into a new room, only to find the walls painted exactly the same as the one you left. That's not how physics is supposed to work. Unless, we were wrong about the shape of the room. For decades, we believed the heliosphere, the sun's protective magnetic bubble, ended at a certain point, wrapping us in a cocoon that separated home from the galactic wild. But Voyager 2's findings suggest that boundary is not a sharp border. It's a blurred, fluctuating frontier, turbulent, contradictory, and unlike anything theoretical models predicted. Voyager 2 didn't find silence beyond the sun's reach. It found strange fluctuations, ghost-like pulses of cosmic rays, plasma variations that don't match the sun's 11-year cycle. It's as if the spacecraft entered a place between places, a kind of magnetic twilight zone. And then came the impossible. Voyager's instruments detected a region of stable plasma and rising galactic radiation without any corresponding shift in the magnetic field. According to our physics, that shouldn't happen. Unless, of course, there's something interfering with our understanding, something bigger, something we're only just beginning to glimpse. Perhaps what's most incredible isn't just what Voyager 2 found, but how it found it. With 50-year-old computers, no AI, and heat-powered plutonium generators that lose 4 watts of energy per year, the spacecraft continues to function in temperatures it was never designed to survive. Engineers had already turned off critical systems, like the heater for the cosmic ray detector, to conserve power. Everyone thought the instrument would freeze and die. Instead, it kept working, far beyond its thermal limits, as if the machine refused to shut down before it delivered one last truth. Now, only five instruments remain active. By 2030, that number may drop to zero. But before that happens, Voyager 2 just made a discovery so strange, so precise, so wrong by all traditional logic, that it may rewrite what we know about the outer solar system. Because the edge we thought we knew, the end of our neighborhood, is not the end. And what lies beyond, Voyager 2 is trying to tell us, before it's too late. Before the Voyagers, we believed the heliosphere was shaped like a teardrop, with the sun's influence trailing behind it like a comet's tail. 
But the date of Voyager 2 is returning suggests a very different picture, a distorted, chaotic boundary that fluctuates wildly and may not be shaped by the sun at all. Instead of a clean break between solar space and interstellar space, Voyager 2 found overlapping zones of magnetic interference, sudden pockets of high-pressure plasma, and erratic radiation spikes. These weren't supposed to be there. They don't fit into any model. It's like trying to define the shape of a cloud with a ruler. Some physicists now suspect the heliosphere is being twisted and reshaped by galactic magnetic forces, pulled and pinched by interstellar winds we've never measured. Voyager 2, despite being 12 billion miles away, is sending back evidence that the sun's influence is not as dominant as we once believed. And that's more than a surprise. It's a threat. As Voyager 2 moves beyond the sun's protection, one thing becomes terrifyingly clear. Space is far more violent than we thought. Galactic cosmic rays, subatomic shrapnel launched by ancient supernovae, are no longer being filtered by the heliosphere. Voyager 2 is now exposed to them directly, and the data shows a disturbing trend. Not only is the radiation stronger, but it's structured, periodic, patterned. There are pulses in the data that some believe could be signs of interactions between cosmic rays and hidden interstellar structures, perhaps dense clouds of plasma, or worse, collapsed remnants of old stars drifting invisibly through space. This raises a chilling question. If even Voyager's hardened, heat-powered instruments are struggling to survive, what chance would human life have out there? These cosmic rays don't just burn through metal. They destroy DNA. They destabilize electronics. And as Voyager moves deeper into the unknown, it's revealing just how fragile we are in the face of the galaxy's raw forces. Each Voyager carries a message, a 12-inch gold-plated disc containing music, images, and greetings in 55 languages. It's been called Earth's Mixtape, Humanity's Introduction, and Our Last Letter to the Universe. But here's what most people don't realize. Those records aren't just symbolic. They're our only real attempt to make contact with something we don't understand. They contain Chuck Berry, Beethoven, images of children, scientific data, and a message from President Jimmy Carter that reads, This record represents our hope and our determination and our goodwill in a vast and awesome universe. Now think about this. Voyager 2 has carried that message farther than anything human-made has ever traveled. And if there is something out there, conscious or not, it's listening to this. Not our strongest weapons, not our brightest minds, but our music, our greetings, our memories of home. And as Voyager's last instruments begin to fail, the record will be all that's left, floating, waiting, echoing a species that once looked to the stars and whispered hello. In its latest transmission, Voyager 2 detected something that should not exist. Scientists haven't publicly released all the data, but leaks from inside NASA suggest a frequency spike in one of the spacecraft's low-band instruments. A brief, repeating signal. Not cosmic noise, not plasma vibrations. A signal that some insiders have described as mathematically consistent. It lasted only 2.4 seconds. It wasn't in any known modulation. It didn't match any solar or galactic source. And then, silence. The official explanation? An error, an anomaly, a glitch in the aging equipment. But off the record, some engineers aren't convinced. One was quoted saying, It looked intentional, not intelligent, but deliberate. Like something meant to be noticed. Whatever it was, it hasn't repeated. But the fact that it happened once, that it was captured, archived, and confirmed, has changed everything. Because if Voyager 2, with its failing power, ancient circuits, and fading voice, can still intercept something that breaks every rule we've written about deep space, then what else is out there that we haven't heard, because we weren't listening? Voyager 2 is more than just a spacecraft. It's a mirror, one we launched into the cosmos not to look back at us, but to remind us of what it means to reach beyond our limits. Everything about it was improbable, built by hand, coded in assembly, operated by teams who have long since retired or passed away. And yet, it endures. Not because it was perfect, but because it was human. It represents a time when we dared to explore, not for profit or power, but for the pure desire to know, to understand, 
to ask questions that no one else was asking. And now, 46 years later, that same machine is still asking those questions for us, quietly, humbly, from a place no human has ever seen. It is transmitting the conditions of interstellar space, the music of plasma, the whispers of ancient starlight. Not because we told it to, but because it's still able to. In doing so, Voyager 2 reminds us of something we've forgotten in our world of distractions and instant gratification. That the universe doesn't need to be loud to be profound. That the greatest discoveries don't come in explosions, but in echoes. And that sometimes the smallest signal from the farthest place says more about us than all the noise here on Earth ever could. Voyager isn't just telling us about space. It's telling us about ourselves, about what we've done, what we've left behind, and maybe what we still have time to become. In the coldest, darkest corner of space, where sunlight is just a memory and gravity barely whispers, a tiny machine built by human hands is still speaking, against every prediction, against every limitation, against time itself. Voyager 2 continues, but this last discovery, it wasn't just science, it was something else, a tremor, a reminder, a clue, something we were never supposed to receive, or maybe something we were always meant to hear. Because this journey was never just about reaching space, it was about proving we could reach beyond ourselves, that we could build something that mattered, even when no one was watching. That curiosity could outlive politics, noise, and ego. Voyager 2's signal is fading, its power is dying. But before it goes silent forever, it gave us one final truth. That the universe is not empty, that the edge isn't the end, and that sometimes the most impossible discoveries don't break our science, they awaken our imagination. And now we ask you, what do you think Voyager found? Was it science? Or something we've never dared to name? Was it just a cosmic coincidence? Or the beginning of something bigger? Let us know in the comments. If this story moved you, inspired you, or made you look at the stars a little differently, subscribe and hit the bell, because we're just getting started. There's more out there than we've ever imagined. And Voyager was just the beginning.